For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the new Rat King Assault Rifle. But before we get gameplay with it, I do wanna show what else they're offering in the store this week. Like I've mentioned before, they're also selling the Grave Digger, and that's gonna cost 1,680 gold. And a lot of people been asking, no, I am not salty about the Grave Digger coming back. Good, then we just need salt, lots of it. How much is lots? 1,500 pounds. Well, where are we gonna get that much salt? Okay, yeah, I'm a little salty. The new Rat King Assault Rifle is also gonna cost 1,680 gold. And we'll check out the perks that came with it here in a second. They're also selling Legendary Flux, as well as Armory Slots, Trail Blaster Buzz, who has a really good support and tactical squad bonus. I'll leave a link to some Trail Blaster gameplay in the description if you wanna go check it out. They're also selling Epic Space Pistols, an Epic Shockwave, Epic Survivors, Evolution Materials, some Epic Flux, Rare Flux, a uh, Rare and Uncommon Perk Up, Fleet Foot Ken, Reperk, a Legendary Deathwing, as well as a Legendary Cozy Campfire. And that sums up everything they're selling in the store this week. All right, so I did want to quickly inspect the new Rat King just to show you what it looks like up close. Looks like that's sort of like, I don't know if that's a flashlight at the top. Sort of looks like a flashlight a little bit. And it also kind of looks rusty as well and a little dirty. But yeah, this is what the new Rat King looks like up close. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the perks that came with it. And first, I do want to check out the perks that we got on our Grave Digger. Just want to see if it's the same perks that we got on the original Grave Digger. Alright, so it looks like we got the same perks that we got last time on our Grave Digger. And we've gotten gameplay with every element except for energy and physical. Uh, if y'all would like to see the energy Grave Digger, let me know in the comments below. But as for our Rat King, the perks that we have on ours are damage, reload speed, physical damage, crit rating, damage to slowed and snared, and damage dealt with this weapon snares the target by 30% for 6 seconds. And at the very bottom it says assault weapon, slug gun, rat rod, semi-automatic rifle, firing powerful rounds, effective as a mid-range rifle with a slow fire rate. And I haven't seen anybody else's rolls, so I'm not sure if everybody got the same perks. Be sure to let me know what perks you got on yours in the comments below. Oh my goodness, I just made it obsidian. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. And like always, before we start changing our perks around, I did want to scroll over every slot just to show you all of the available options. All right, so the only perk that we changed was the element. Instead of using physical, we decided to use the energy element. And we almost have all of the perks maxed out. We weren't able to fully max out our reload speed perk because we ran out of legendary perk up. But yeah, these are the rolls that we're gonna use while testing it out. And as for our loadout, we're gonna test it out using Urban Assault Sledgehammer with Wukong in our support slot and Raven in our tactical slot. We do still have to complete some more beta storms in order to finish the beta storm quest. So I think the mission we're gonna do is this level 100 retrieve the data beta storm, and we're also gonna be doing it solo. All right, here we go. We're crafting our first Rat King. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, here it is. This is what it looks like with the energy element. Oh, it does have a flashlight. You can see the flashlight. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, when we inspected it and I saw the flashlight, I didn't really think it was gonna work, but the flashlight actually works. I'm trying to think if there's any other weapon that has a flashlight. Doesn't the tiger have like a, is it a flashlight or a laser? So yeah, it's not the only weapon that has a flashlight. The tiger also has like a smaller flashlight, but it doesn't shine as bright. As you see, you can't really see it off of the wall. It has more of like a dim light to it, but with the Rat King, the light is definitely brighter and easier to see. But before we get into the gameplay, I did want to test it out against the level 100 Smasher. smasher. Yeah, we're getting to that sledgehammer. Give me a second. Rushing me. Obviously, when it comes to wider enemies, you're going to want to use nature weapons. But we decided to go with energy because we want to be able to use it against any type of element and still do a decent amount of damage. Oh, well, since we got a shielder, hold on. Let's go ahead and test it out on the shielder. Here we go. I don't believe it'll pierce uh, shielders, and it doesn't look like it does. So, nope, doesn't pierce the shielders. I don't believe it's going to pierce the Riot Shielders shield. Nope. So, it doesn't pierce the Riot Husky shield, and it also doesn't pierce the Shielder shield as well. But, yeah, let's go ahead and take out the Smasher. Let me smash. Please. Here we go, people. 
Alright, so as you can tell, it has 10 rounds in the magazine, and it uses shotgun shells for ammo, which is probably going to be one of the main things I like about it. And wow, we just took out that smasher a lot quicker than I expected. This thing actually does some pretty decent damage. Here they come! But yeah, unlike most assault weapons, uh, this one uses shotgun shells. I believe the only other assault weapon that uses shotgun shells is the Hydra. So if you enjoy using assault weapons but don't want to burn through your medium and light ammo, then you may want to pick up the Shrek King from the weekly store. Let's see how many shots we need to take out this blaster. Three, four, up four shots. I believe that last one was 151,000 damage. And like the description says, it's more of a mid-range rifle. Uh, once you go too far out, obviously the damage is going to drop off. And you see we're doing like 11,000, 9,000 damage, 12,000. So yeah, it is more of a mid-range assault weapon. Alright, so next up, let's check out the fire rate. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot it as fast as I can. This is how fast it normally is without any fire rate perks. Uh, like I said, we're playing with an urban assault. So whenever we get headshots, it's going to increase our fire rate. So let's go ahead and test it out real quick. Alright, so we get a headshot. And the fire rate is much quicker. It actually feels good with the quick fire rate. All right, let's go ahead and test it out on this blaster right here. See how many shots it takes to kill him. Here we go. Killed him in four shots, almost three. Let's try it on this one. One, two, three, four. Yep, it's going to take about four shots with our current loadout. Uh, reloads pretty quick. I'll go ahead and do it again to show you. Reloads not too bad. Alright, so let's go ahead and test it out on this smasher as well. And then we'll get into the gameplay. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh Let my goodness. Smash. Trying to keep track of how many Three. shots we take. Nine, ten. Oh, we killed him in ten shots. So one magazine. Not too bad. Oh, you don't push me. I push you. At first, I didn't think I was going to like it because it's semi-automatic. Now I'm kind of wishing I didn't make it bright core. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I like it. You like getting that ass whooped? Kinky. Yeah, I think we've tested it out enough for now. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, let's go ahead and shoot it down. Oh. Oh, wow. I sort of like the sound that it makes. Defend that data. I really like the sound that it makes. All right, let's go ahead and put down our second defender. And he's going to be using the Rat King as well. There we go. So yeah, in terms of semi-automatic weapons, I would definitely consider the Rat King to be one of the best semi-automatic weapons in the game. If I had to compare it to any other semi-automatic assault weapon, I would say it's very similar to the Hydra. So yeah, if you prefer using assault weapons, I would definitely recommend getting it. Oh no, please don't die. We just started. Uh, I think that's going to be one of the main things I like about it, is that it uses shotgun shells. Uh, that way you can have like a grave digger that uses medium bullets. You can have a siege breaker, which uses light bullets. And you can have the rat king, which uses shotgun shells. So that way you won't completely burn through a specific type of ammo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump down because I feel like I'm about to die. Matter of fact, I think let's go ahead and place down some campfires. I can't believe we're almost down already. Oh, I didn't even close this off. Embarrassing. A little bit. Uh, we really didn't need to close it off, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'll place some of these down. Uh, I would go show my tunnel. Let's make sure we don't have any... Uh, Exploders first. File successfully retrieved. I don't think I've seen any. And hopefully we get some smashes to spawn in. But yeah, I'm actually really liking the Oh no. Let's get out of here. Let's go heal ourselves. Oh man. Uh, we'll get back to using it again here in a second. I'm actually liking the Rat King a lot more than I expected. Uh, usually when it comes to semi-automatic weapons, 
I, I really don't use them that often because you have to press the trigger so many times in order to get kills. But I feel like this does some decent damage, even though it's bright core. Every bit helps. And I really like that it uses shotgun shells. It's it's really good. Uh -uh. No. All right. Hey, uh, I think here. our health is up high enough now. Let's go ahead and get back into the game. Another file. Uh, the fire rate is kind of slow, even even with bright core. Uh, the fire rate's still kind of slow. I also want to check out the spread if possible. Yeah, it seems like there's barely any spread at all. It's, it's really good. I feel like we're doing more damage than most uh, semi-automatic rifles. I feel like I don't have to spam the trigger as much as some other semi-automatic weapons. Talking about you, Hunter Killer. But I don't feel like we're doing as much damage as some other assault weapons. Oh, we got exploders coming in now. We need to be careful. I'm down. Help. Hopefully they don't blow up our All tunnel right. here. Back in action. Come on, Grandpa and Uncle. You're the best. Get back to work. Uh, let's go ahead and place down another one of these and get our health back. Uh, but yeah, I think the fact that it uses shotgun shells and this cool little flashlight that it has on it are going to be the main things I like about it. Uh -uh. Oh no, they just blew up our tunnel. Oh wow. What happened here? At least they're spawning from a different direction now. Gives us a chance to rebuild. Another file. I have no clue what happened though, man. Damn exploders. Let's go ahead and replace everything. And then get back to killing. Uh, the reason we try not to go over the build limit, I've mentioned it before, but uh, we still got some people asking. Uh, the reason we try not to go over the build limit is because it makes the defenses really easy when you overbuild. And in order to like get some really good gameplay with the weapons or heroes we're using, I try not to go over the build limit. Uh, looks like they're still spawning from the same side. Uh, Grandpa and Uncle's putting in work over there. Sorry, can't. But yeah, we sort of lost our health early, so we're having to play it careful. Storm's closing in too, so we can't go too far. Data's looking good. A really good weapon to use if you're trying to see through the storm is the Neon Sniper Rifle. If you have one, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like real quick. It sort of highlights the enemies like you saw right there and that makes it a lot easier. As you can see, we can see all of these stuff through the wall as well as the storm. So this is a good weapon to use uh, for this new Beta Storm mission. Let's go ahead and switch back to the Rat King. Let's take out these blasters. We didn't get any smashers on this defense. And I didn't really get a good chance to test out the range either. Let's try to shoot some of these tests that are far away. This looks like we're getting 60,000. I wasn't really paying attention to the numbers up to this point, but I just saw right there we got 60,000 with one of our shots. Oh, 80,000. Look like we did over 100,000 on one of those. It's probably a crit. Oh yeah, I think we just did over 100,000 again. You know, let's place a campfire right here because... As long as we're outside of the storm, we're going to be losing hell. You can't shoot through shielders, unfortunately. Oh, man. Let's get rid of these little ones. All right, so we got two minutes left. Uh, they're still coming from the same side. I don't see them coming from the other side. Oh, you got a smasher. Perfect. 
Oh, no, we ain't getting no health though. Hold on. Let me get my health first, people. Oh wait, the campfire's gone. Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right, let's get a health first. He could have killed us right there. Hopefully, we get another one to spawn in. Cause I know my traps did some damage to that one. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think about the Red King for those of you who have tried it. We did Look sort of it. mess up and make it bright core. I'm still a little salty about that. Protect the fort. But I really like the uh, the flashlight that it has on it. Oh, he's doing some pretty decent damage against the Smasher. Oh, no. Let's get out of here. Nope. There's a whole bunch of nope down there. Nope. Let's go back to our campfires. Oh, man. We like almost died three times in this one. Oh, we got exploders. We got more exploders. Another file. Wait, is that it? Oh, that's it. Perfection. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Rat King gameplay. Compared to other semi-automatic rifles, I actually prefer this one over the Hunter Killer, the Hammer Crush, and the Buzz Cut. I feel like this is a much better semi-automatic rifle than most other semi-automatic rifles. If I had to compare it to just one that I've tried before, I would say it's very similar to the Hydra. Anyways, that'll do it for our first Rat King Assault Rifle gameplay. For those of you who have tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, let me know what roles you got on yours when you bought it from the weekly store. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.